Hey guys, TMF. All right, shout out to Cyber Dissident here for this one. And this one's a doozy, guys, here. So buckle up. Let's take a look. I couldn't remember my friend's name, uh, who I've known for 12 years. Burning things and undercooking others, and I cook for a living. I started putting my mascara where the toothbrush goes. I started putting my mascara where the toothbrush goes. Mm, nice there. COVID-19 patients around the world have been having unsettling experiences like these, and they could be connected to the long-term effects the novel coronavirus can have on the human brain. This is a very ingenious uh, virus. We had this is a very ingenious virus. Yeah, understatement of the year right there. For a long time thought that this was primarily a respiratory syndrome, we now know that it is a multi-system syndrome. The virus enters the body through a protein called ACE2, which is found on the outside of cells throughout the body, including in the brain. The virus uses ACE2 as a gateway to get into the cells, hijacking them to make copies of itself. It's like you have a little terrorist. It's like you have a little terrorist. Who attacked our country? The evidence we have gathered oh. all points to a collection of loosely affiliated terrorist organizations known as Al-Qaeda. Terrorist. Terrorist organizations. Running around in your body from your scalp to your toes, setting bombs off. That's right. You never oh, know. oh, yeah, bombs off. You got the terroristic boogeyman in your body, guys, setting off terroristic bombs. <laughs> know what's going to hit you next. <laughs> the World Health Organization says most people who uh, get COVID-19 recover from it. But researchers say there will likely be those who have long- Most people who get who get it recover from it. Yeah, thanks for a little truth bit. But then, but there's this little brain issue now. Lasting brain-related symptoms. I'm a shadow of what I was, um, physically and mentally. What we do know about COVID-19 <laughs> and the brain is based on incomplete knowledge with researchers saying what they know is constantly evolving. COVID-23 has mutated. Constantly evolving. So utterly convenient. Now, this is the Songbird trailer, right, guys? COVID-23, the fastest movie ever made in a pandemic, during a pandemic lockdown, right? Lockdown, during the time you're talking about June, July, this was supposedly made. Okay, in a matter of a few months, this was supposedly made. And with when Hollywood and all filming is supposed to be on lockdown and halted and postponed, this was somehow made with every prediction you can possibly imagine that's taking place now and it's about to take place and come to fruition, including what? You guessed it. Here we go. Beginning thermal scan. Thermal scan normal. A horrifying new development new today. confirms the virus attacks the brain tissue. Oh. You heard that? You heard that? Let's listen in again one more time. Normal. A horrifying new development new today. confirms the virus attacks the brain tissue. So, along with everything else in this film that it's predict that it predicted, you can go ahead and add that to the pile. Uh, God help us all.